Hi, Fred Hannes here. And currently we live in a nation that is being polarized, it's being divided. Uh, one of those things is over, of course, the, the issue of race. Uh, we see the protests, the anarchy, the struggle, the injustice, uh, the brutality, all of the rest. It's all packaged together and uh, it's disturbing and it doesn't need to be that way. Uh, back in July, I preached a series on racism called One Blood, One Race, and it was only three weeks long. But as a result of that, the feedback was overwhelming, and the elders here at Gateway Bible Church had asked me to go ahead and put this into a written form, into a book. So I have written a book called One Blood, One Race. It just got released uh, this past week on Amazon, and I bought 400 copies uh, to give away. These are absolutely free, available to you, with the hopes that you will read it and pass it along to others. Um, this book is only 60 pages long. It's an easy read. It summarizes the three sermons I preached. And uh, I've created it also into um, something that could be used as a small group dis discussion basis. It's only three chapters, so after each chapter there is the ability to go through some dis discussion questions I've listed. But, um, you know, I, I think this is just such a big cultural issue right now is racism. And when I hear it being discussed, I don't uh, hear ever really um, uh, digging down, drilling down to the root cause issues of racism, which I believe started when uh, Darwinian evolution got its foothold. Because Darwinian evolution uh, neglected the fact that we are created by God. We're created equal by God. And then, of course, after that developed the whole science of eugenics that says you can breed um, out inferior qualities in race or in uh, different breeds of any type of animal, if you will, or plant, and applied to humans um, with the, under, the understanding of what Darwinian evolution gave us that somehow the lighter the skin, the more superior you are. You are. There was a movement to suppress people of color. And then uh, this book leads into a topic that's even now becoming more relevant than when I wrote it just a few weeks ago. And that is that, um, you know, the, the Supreme Court is the one that's making all the decisions on what's right and wrong. We have gotten so far away from God and His Word, that's where the answer is. But now it's in the hands of the Supreme Court, which of course we know right now it's going through transition. So anyhow, I encourage you, uh, pick up your copy. We have we have multiples available. If you want more than one, you can have more than one. Um, grab it, pass it around. Let's get a dialogue going. And uh, on Sunday, like I said, I'll have these available for you. Or you can stop by the church office at any time. We'll get you a copy. And of course, if there's people in other parts of uh, the country you'd like for them to read this, you can always point them to Amazon. It's available um, in print form and on uh, the e-reader form or e-books so, uh, or Kindle. Um, both I've made them as affordable as possible, kind of the lowest rates that you can charge for a book on Amazon. So anyhow, God bless you. Uh, I'm excited about this and it's, uh, it's pretty cool to be directed by our elders to take the time and energy to do this. I don't think I would have done it on my own initiative, but uh, at their prompting and the prompting of several other people that just gave me great feedback on the series, um, decided to make this become a reality. So there it is. Uh, God bless, and I hope you read it. Second, I hope you pass it on. Third, I hope <laughs> you get into greater dialogue and boldness about the issue of race and the solutions presented in the Bible.